paused. Not very well, apparently. Do you keep it automatic? The quick start guide. It was very helpful. See what I mean? Do you need a special talent? A long attention span? Do you pump your coil with malice? Do you shake your <laughs> like balance? Electrons, yellow bananas. On Tuesdays. But it's a Sunday. Do you leave it all alone and say whatever happens, happens? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> is your detector sensitive to Aurora Borealis? No, but Phil's is. If there's iron in the ground, do you notch it by the gallon? All metal mode. Do you set it late at night while you're watching Jimmy Fallon? Nah, I'm a stream of consciousness type of person. I, I don't plan like that. Do you lean against a wall essentially a counterbalance? Did you read the manual and all <laughs> written in italics? Who writes stuff like this? That last one just stung. Do you do it every day often enough to cause a cow break? Every day now? Yes, I mean, it took me a year and a half to figure out the right way. Mineralized, you go to dine, dig a wormo to the pit of oak island, what's stopping you from catching the ride, from digging a trime, from dropping the mic? In fairness, I did dig a trime with imperfect settings. Gotta tune your detector, could read the ground light. Gotta prep it for a mineral spike, build a habit, do it every time. Gotta memorize like riding a bike, like shake it, let the coins jiggle, shake it, never lose signal, shake it, like a worm wiggle, shake it, make your friends giggle, shake it, scare a big seagull, shake it, till it's illegal, shake it, you will feel gleeful, shake it, shake your people, shake it, if you don't, he will, shake it, if you don't, she will, shake it, shake it, man, evil, shake it, shake it, with eagle, shake it, shake it, on steep hill, shake it, shake it, with your pill, shake it, till you need refill, shake it, shake it, don't stay still, shake it. Do you think it works like magic, like a painter and a palette, or a sculptor with a chisel and a hammer? Michelangelo, he climbed a ladder to the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, understood his tools and dropped the mic upon the planet. So I sense that you might want the glamour, but is your detector calibrated for you to be a master? Oh my god, these, these words. Oh. Can you make the stones move, or are you superficial plaster? Remember this the next time that you swing a detector. Shake it, don't break it, go to Calico to replace it, but with proper ground balance, you'll go deeper than the basement. Be one with the ground, leave your friends in amazement, never be defeated, pursue success until you taste it. Yeah, great. You know, I wasn't ready to end that video. I'll put a link to part one of this video so you fully know what I'm talking about. Something clicked at the end of last night. And I, I'm just, I, I can barely sleep, like, in, in excitement. I want to see if there's something to it. You could always hit a hot streak, but let's see if it carries over. And I, I'm not going to judge it on just the results of uh, what coins that I pull. Uh, I want to see a consistently higher depth. Although depth is not everything. You know, that's what people are missing though. You know, if you have a Knox, if anything I proved, you could have, you could forget about one of the settings of the Knox and still it'll be a great detector for you. But man, it felt cohesive. That's the word. It felt cohesive last night. Like there was, it was a sure shot. Like, okay, I, I know what I'm going for now. I want to feel that. Long story short, on my best days, I'm engaging and entertaining. I never have once called myself the best detectorist out there. Uh, you'll never hear me say that. And if you look at my videos from a year ago, you will see me fly around parks, just swinging the detector like this, like, like, like a happy little kid, and, and pulling up all sorts of clad. And uh, listen, I did get my share of silver. I did get my share of rings. You know, last year I got something like 50. This year, we more than doubled that. This has been the best that I've ever done. We have more than 200 
and I think it's 231 or 232 silver coins pulled this year. It's been a year of growth. There's more growth to go. I own 16 detectors now, and I knew this even before purchasing the last few. The best detectorists master one. Like, we're talking about next level with one. And they use it, they use it, they know the nuances of it. Getting all these detectors, you know, it, it, it sure, it, I mean, it, it helps the worldview. But if you're not going to take the time to master them, it doesn't make sense. Hello, and welcome into a plastic bag. Anywho, the other interesting plot line that we have going on here in this video, I am lending my e-track to Phil. You gotta put geniuses in play, okay? So, one, I'm appreciative of what he taught me. Two, let's see what he could do with the e-track. That's amazing. All right, let's set this up. Auto tracking already. ground balance let's get to a spot where there's nothing in fact let's uh yeah make sure we're at an empty spot hold on there's no such thing as an empty spot with the equinox jesus Jeez, I can't find an empty spot. Yeah, oh, empty spot. Oh my God. Okay, so let's get back to that. Okay, now pump, pump it. Okay, and we're good to go and we got the auto tracking on. Yeah, when you do the, the pumping, the, the manual ground balance uh, on top of putting the tracking on, it's just another level of locked in. And apparently, I finally answered the question, how do you ground balance? No quarters left behind. Another surface quarter. Uh-oh. Good signal. What worries me is look at this rocky soil. Here we go, we've made contact. Sadly, it's one piece, of, it's a piece of iron, but let's see, oh, see, I forgot. Darn it. Yep, that's what we need. Well, just pulled some more iron too. Well, I just got something very strange. I dug up a mid-tone. And it's very green. All right, got no sign of iron on this. All the way up to 30. Target ID, it's crazy. Goes to five, it was down to two. Might be, some, see that? Might be something on the side or something partially masked. We are on the board. There we go. What are you? What are you? Hagen does. Has been unlocked. Ah, it's a mark. There we go. Okay. Skilva. Yes, sir. Yes, sir and ma'am. All right, we're on the board. Okay, got another good signal. It's a Canadian penny. It's either 82 or 62. In fact, that's not a two, I'm just blind. I think it's 1980. No quarter left behind. Egad. We're on the wheat. Robert Crespo in the house. Yo, what's up? Uh-oh. Well, we got a relic, got a deep relic. This one, well, you know, nine inches, okay. Relic of what? God knows. 
What the hell is it? Who cares? Go. Egad. We're on the wheat. All right, we're taking a chance here on a very faint signal. Here we go again. Unbelievable. 14 inch piece of iron. All right, very excited about this signal. Very excited. Sounds like when I pinpoint a bigger coin size object, um, which has me worried. I don't mean like a quarter versus a dime. I mean like it's it's got a different signature. So let's see. It seemed like the perfect signal until I did that. But then again, if it's like a half, that would be that wouldn't be a problem. And I notice when I turn. Well, no, that's still a strong signal. Never mind. Hey, Rosie, there we go. Number two. Hogging dies. Has been unlocked. Could there be more? Not that I hear. Okay, that was about maybe, uh, I don't know, five, six inches down. Okay. Another fantastic signal. Come on, let's dig. Oh, snap. This is awesome. That is either a old bottle cap or a thimble. What does it symbolize? It's got a piece of paper in here, so I don't think it's a sim uh, symbol. A thimble. It's very green. Me and this bottle cap are going to be friends forever. Yay. That's a quarter. Oh my god, I just got licked and like kissed by a dog. That was so cool because you know, bro and sis, they hate me. They think I'm a monster. Two screws, thingies, nails, you know. Egad. I do believe we're on the wheat. Let us verify that. It is verified. We are on the wheat. One cent. A quarter it is. Dog Star Blazer in the house. What's up, sir? Hey, what's up? How are you? <laughs> right. Can I make a recommendation right there? Yes. I, I've been showing everybody and telling everybody who will listen, even non-metal detectors, this is how you ground balance the Knox. Well, I'll tell you this. Um, this is another recommendation. If you enjoy my channel, check out Dogstar Blazer. He is a great dude, funny dude. He did his first video uh, yesterday. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. You will laugh. Check out Dogstar Blazer. Egad, we're on the wheat. Piece of fence. Egad. We're on the wheat. Yeah, it's a quarter. Egad. It's just a money penny. Nah. Professor okay. Philip the Knox is in the house, at least that's his so feet. you got all your brakes the same, so you're hearing everything. I, I've seen in comments, people have asked, uh, can you ask Phil for the settings? I've put it in the video uh, a bunch of times, and I'll repeat it again. All right, so here is your Phil cheat sheet. He hunts in Park 1. He uses the 15-inch coil. Recovery speed is on the slow side. 
So uh, two out of eight, although uh, he's told me that he has altered that depending upon the ground setting, uses headphones, has like told me time and again, make sure that you use headphones, make sure that you learn uh, the sounds, the, the various sounds that give you clues. Um, do a manual ground balance. And uh, that's, uh, I showed you this earlier in the video and in last video. Um, make sure that you have ground balance tracking on. Make sure that your coil does not have a wobble. Uh, he <laughs> tried swinging my machine and he's like, what the hell is this? Um, noise cancel, sensitivity 25, uh, so as high as it can go. Uh, iron bias, low. You're going to be digging up a lot of iron. Uh, hopefully you're going to increase the amount of silver that you dig. Um, he hunts in 50 tones, uh, threshold, I believe it's 10 if I remember correctly, so that it's barely audible, um, hunt in all metal mode, uh, so that you can hear the grunt of the iron. Um, I notice, because uh, swing speed has played a big factor in previous detectors, for me the Nox, I think my saving grace has been a super slow swing speed, and I think that's how I've gotten gone by, gotten by with um, <laughs> not optimal ground balancing in the past. I just swung that slow. Uh, but he has a faster swing than me. It's not super fast, but it's faster. Um, he uses tone breaks and makes signals above 25 noticeably higher, so you can hear the difference on those signals. Um, there's no guarantee that like a 27 or 28 on a dime is going to be silver, but when those numbers come up on the detector, they're going to be higher. Uh, this sound is going to be higher. Um, he hunts in 10 kilohertz most often. He verifies, he switches amongst, uh, uh, in, in the frequencies quite a bit. Uh, to, and it, it's part of his uh, failsafe, you know, to make sure that it's not an iron uh, signal. So he, I, I think there's something that's consistent about those three uh, uh, frequencies. I mean, multi, we're going to uh, loop in as a frequency. It's all of them, but um, 10 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz, and multi. The other thing he does is he tests. And uh, I, I can see, <laughs> it, we had a, a brief conversation, uh, you know, today, and I lent him the E-Track. And he's like, I was up until five in the morning, you know, watching videos and, um, you know, reading about it. And I respect that. I really do. And as an educator, I do, uh, you know, understand the importance of doing that. For me, I was always a better learner when it came to you give me something and I figure it out. I've taught myself Microsoft Excel that way without ever reading a book. But apparently the nuances of a metal detector um, I mean, I, I'm not a terrible detectorist. I, I've gotten uh, some really good stuff. But am I a black belt? Admittedly, no, I'm not. That's what I want to be. All right, I'm struggling with it a little bit. Part of it could be that the sensitivity is jacked up, like all the way to 25. Um, let's look. So let's test this again. This is an empty spot. Twenty three. Ground uh, tracking is on. It sounds better. Thirty five cent coins, Bill. 1960s penny, but it was deep, so the tuning is back. All right, to me, this looks smaller than a penny. Of course, I'm excited. Well, it could be a dime. Dimes are smaller than a penny, but they're usually not that green. It's amazing that you do that with that big coil. I think this is an old one. It looks old from here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Ooh. You know how to test for uh, ruby, right? No. Black light. 
Black backlight or black light? Black light. Put it under the black light. Congratulations. Thanks, brother. It is old. Yeah, I think that is old. I do believe we are on the green wheat once again. Organic. No quarter left behind. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. I do believe. Yeah, why not? Plutonium. Man, the Canadians are dropping coins here. Rob just pulled an Indian. And I got a... I mean, this has got to be a, uh, a penny. Orange president. I think it's a dollar. Yeah, one dollar. Whoa! Well, oh, it's bicentennial. That's a dollar. That's it. I've never seen one of these pulled. Eisenhower. And you, and you said you you let it go? <laughs> yep, I let it go. <laughs> I was like, it's junk. It's right here. I have never seen this pulled, man. Look at this. Oh! It's not silver, though. But, you know. Still, That's all right. Not every day you find one of those. That's a bucket lister. I think this is the... Well, no, it's not the biggest coin in American history. I think the... Um, oh! That's a... What's, what's the Eisenhower? Eisenhower, yep. That rang up, 33. Oh! So Master Rob just pulled out a really cool coin. And I think this is the bicentennial one, too. Oh, that is yeah. so cool. That's the that's the Liberty Bell? Yeah. Yep. Awesome, Rob. Yeah, buddy. I think it's heavy, right? That's awesome. <laughs> I'm weightlifting right now. Yeah, that's a heavy coin. Good stuff. I thought it was a Morgan, boy. I was like, he got, he, it's just a regular dollar. On the weed again. He is on the board. Just like that. Master Rob is a sucker. You yeah, man. And you got an Indian head and a, um, what's it called? Uh, I got that dollar, Eisenhower dollar. Eisenhower, yep. Boom. There you go. There you go. Thanks a lot, bro. Awesome. I know what the bag looks like. Not bad. Oh, not too bad. Got a Merc. Merc. All right. Now it's your turn, sir. Yeah. Now listen, he pulled, oh, remember we had that tough day? Um, he has since pulled a half. So, uh, you know, it, he gets his stuff. But this park, I know, has been a curse for me. <laughs> now, now it's your turn, sir. Yeah, now I need to get a Morgan like this guy. Like, yep. Come on. <laughs> yep. I got an Indian. That's a lot, man. This, and all over the place. Oh, snap. Just over What's there? the other the one? First one? I don't know. I think it's a weed. The first one I found was from Not sure. Sweet. Oh. And you got an arrow coin? Yes, yeah, see, it's like a 1988 deed. Wow. It looks like an arrow coin. How long have you been coming to this park, bro? Wow. See, it's like off like 10%? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. On this side, there's no months. rent. That's it. It's maybe, barely anything. Maybe I first came here in wow. March of this year. Look at what Carlos found. You got your spray bottle? Oh, no, I left it in the car. I left my bag in the car. Yeah, I'm curious what this is. That's smaller than a penny. It's interesting, right? Yeah, man. How deep? Oh, it's pretty deep. About maybe seven inches. Here we go. Oh. My curse is back. Phil is on the board with a deep rosy. I mean, he's got the ring too, so. I'm pushing for one more piece of silver. No quarter left behind though. Yeah, we're on the weight again. Well, I got this thing. Snap. He's on the board again. And he's dancing. Phil, that's the first time I've seen you dance. It's I the silver think, dance. It's not nothing like, I just couldn't believe I found one literally like right next to the other one. And this one is what a rosy, I believe that's what it is, should be. Because this was shallow as hell. It's a rosy. That's what I thought, yeah. 64? Oh, I love that. that. That's when you just cheat the system. I'm blind, but... <laughs> but that's where it should be. How many bars down was that? This was, it was right here. This is, this is the thing that I popped it out of. Gotcha. I, w I would say maybe three. And the only reason I took, when you asked me VIDs, I shouldn't have said that yesterday, that, that you dig 25s. Mm -hmm. I got to hear it. Gotcha. You know? Yep, and I then, remember then you said I'll that. Then I'll visually look to that. But this did hit 25, but then it won 27, 28, 27, 28. Gotcha. And then I was like, there's no way a dime, you know, I didn't think a silver would honestly be this shallow here, but I am 
certainly proven wrong. Quarter. I think I got my silver. Yep. Great. It's not even a weedy. It's time to go home. <laughs> the video is not going to be too much longer, but um, Phil called me over. He's like, I think this is silver. And I, I've been, um, you know, asking him anytime that he has a signal that intrigues him, I'm trying to train my ears. So, you know, I sweep over it. I dug it. He wouldn't accept it back. That was really his silver. But I wound up keeping it. But you're going to see what I do to pay that forwards. Coming up. Yeah, I'm a little bit uh, muddy, but uh, it takes time to check the P.O. box. Let's see if I got any mail from you guys. Two letters. So, uh, if you noticed, I wasn't the only one, you know, getting mail. Um, G Gabby got mail. Um, thank you, Luke, for um, sending a letter. I never had a pen buddy before. Thanks, Luke. And I got a letter from Tom McDonald from uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and it reads, Merrill, I enjoy uh, your metal detecting channel. I detect with an Equinox 800 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Here's a little help in fill up the box. We can't let the cat gods win. Thank you. You totally did not have to do that. It is very appreciated. It means a ton to me uh, that you and people are enjoying the content that I'm putting out. I'm trying to be as honest as possible with it. You know, like it's, <laughs> I'm not trying to come off as this expert. I find, I have found over the course of my life that if you're humble, you ask for help and you pass the mic to people who are really good at answering the question that you're looking for we all learn um you know that that's been my experience in a classroom so uh, i that meant a lot so thank you oh my god listen to these dogs yell at me hi bro hi sissy are you wagging your tail at me hi sissy hi sissy at least you say hi bro Bro hurt my feelings. Hi, sissy. Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Hi, sissy. Hello, thank you, sissy. Man, we have a lot of fills on our channel all of a sudden. Anywho, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of silver. Go and join your friends. And I didn't clean them all, oops. All right, three silvers yesterday. Let's see what we can pull today you know it's tough because when you're talking about silver it's always being extracted and there is a finite supply now i want to see growth the most silver that i've ever pulled in a day in terms of coins not in terms of jewelry because uh, i've had really great beach days but in terms of coins it's been six six coins in one day and three you know, that's that's what I've been getting over the course of the year. You know, I'd get two, three, four, you know, six uh, occasionally. But um, I would say that the signals are getting deeper and the understanding is it, it's, it's taking a few steps each day. Um, you know, I want to keep getting better, keep getting sharper. Well, today I'm going to get interviewed uh, by a lady named Hannah, who is doing a documentary on Prospect Park. So, uh, looking for her now, and uh, then we'll get detecting. I just got a quarter. So, the documentary, I just spent, um, I don't know, maybe like an hour and a half, two hours, uh, with the uh, documentary makers. And I found a ring, and I also found a Merc. And listen, I've been the beneficiary. Here's, let me show you the ring, hold on. It's got two parts and it broke. 
So we got Taco Bell, number one. Taco Bell has been unlocked. Where's the other part? Hold on, I actually have gloves. And where, here we go. Here's the other part. You'll see in the documentary, I found a, a Merc. I gave them the Merc, you know why? Because I have been the beneficiary of, um, you know, generosity, and I'm passing it on. You know, Phil gave me some, uh, you know, Phil gave me a Merc, and Adele gave me a Merc. I'm passing one on, so. You know, it, it's, it, pass it on. Yeah, it, it's, it's good. It's good for the fabric of the universe. So, we're passing that on to Phil. We're passing that on to Adele. We are passing that on for Tom. And we're also passing it on for another friend named uh, Chaz Sherman. Uh, who also sent me some silver. And, uh, you know, again, I'm trying to, you know, pass it forward. That's the word I'm looking for. I wasn't supposed to come out today. We got my wife. Anthony here, and we're making new friends. This is Robert. Rob Latrio. How you doing? All right. Glad to meet everybody. All right, got an interesting one. Let's dig. Well, this one was just iron, but uh, during the documentary, I also pulled this. It was a 1915 wheat. Ah, we got it, Demi. Meh. Oh, snap, I just got some bling bling. It is falling apart, as you can see there. But bling bling is bling bling. And actually, this is a little heavy. It could be all the dirt in it. We got bling bling. Blang. Bla blang blang. Isn't it ironic? Yeah, it's a quarter. Got something good. We have unlocked Taco Bell. Boom! I mean, we did that already earlier, but. Boom shakalaka, I think it's silver too. Oh, and those pink stones, love them. I'm gonna rock that. I'm going to rock the pink stones, people. Pink! Yeah, this, this is like hollowed out, maybe silver plated, because look at this. But I'm still gonna rock that, man. Look at this, look at that. Look. Oh, look, look, look at that. Boom! A quarter and a battery. You can't make this stuff up. All right, I like this signal. All the way up to 30. And nothing really else around it. Let's dig. Going deep. Egad. It's a penny made of wheat. I'm sure you're noticing I'm not using headphones right now. Uh, I forgot them in my car. Oops. That, that will be fixed next time. Jumping around all over the place. Oh, you better believe we're digging this one. Very localized. That was one of the things that Phil was saying. Very localized pinpoint. That is a good sign. What the fluff and muffin is this? It's like a little clasp. Thingamabob. It's a thingamabob. See the little pinchy thingy? It's a pinchy thing. Pinchy thingy thingamabob. That's what it is. We just found a pinchy thingy thingamabob. And it's probably old. It was deep. Is that gold? Who knows? Is it a pinchy thingy golden thingamabob? That's the question that I'm asking, although I highly doubt it. Oh, look at that. We opened it. 
Ah. Oh. Ah. Cat. Gods. Suck. All right, my go growth is being <laughs> gauged <laughs> by the deep signals that I'm tuning into. I'm digging that all day. There we go. Well, it was a wheat scent. You know, nine inches down. Okay. All right, let's mess around with four kilohertz again. It goes deeper because it is a lower frequency. Pencil. Nope. Yeah, let's, let's, we're gonna stick the multi for today. I was having good luck here last time with that. It might, I don't know, I'm missing my headphones right now. Um, it's not making as much sense to me without my headphones. Quarter alert. Oh, while well, we're pulling this quarter. Where are you at? All right, here's the quarter. Um, it's it, it, four kilohertz is not making a whole lot of sense uh, to me. Um, yeah, period. I mean, it's making some sense, but uh, more as a check, more as a fail safe check. 35 cents, cool. <laughs> Busy signal that could be something deep. Let's see. All right, first we'll uh, remove some aluminum foil. But there's still a strong 2021 signal 22. I am hoping it's a two cent piece. Nope, troublesome piece of iron, which I would have heard better with my headphones. And you always check the signal after. Again, there's some iron interference, but there's still a signal. Oh, bummer. All right. Clear 15 here, which is probably gonna be pull tab. And we have a signal with a lot of iron in it that does repeat. So what I'm going to do, take out the obvious signal first, and revisit the other one. All right, here's the junk signal. And over here I get a repeat. that I'm gonna dig but I worry about it because down here look at all those negatives so it could be the periphery of an iron signal but that's the chance you got to take when you go deep still repeats let's dig it okay I dug and I'm getting a repeat again but it's in a different place I'm almost positive it's iron, but this is still intriguing me enough that I will continue. Yes, yeah, so look at this. Repeats in the center. And that sounds small enough, so maybe there is something. We got a horse ring. Not sure about this one at all. Ringing up like an Indian head. As I turn, changes a bit. You hear a lot of the iron. But over here, sure looks like an Indian head. Let's see. Hey, well, what do you know? It's an Indian head. These are some of my favorite coins to pull. And that was a tough one to pull right there. It wasn't terribly deep, six inches or so, but um, that's awesome.
Nice nickel signal. No. Are you kidding me? That is gold right there. Sushi. What just happened? That's the real thing right there. Sushi has been unlocked. Third ring of the day. That's why I dig mid-tones. I can't stop digging mid-tones. This, I mean, this is surface. Eight. We got gold. You want to see the look of disappointment? Are you disappointed? Are you disappointed? I think that means yes. Hi, bro. It's good to see you, bro. Are you coming over to say hi? Come here. Hi, bro. You know what's funny? She hates me indoors. He hates me outdoors. He's my friend indoors. Whatever, sis. So for the second part of this hunt, we got three rings. We got an Indian head penny. Is this it? Is this it? Yep, this is it. Indian head penny. Um, wheat cents, I believe three. One, two, three. Yep. And two dollars and so and change. I want to close by inviting you for our New Year's special, The Meeting with the Cat Gods. December 31st at 11 p.m. It's going to be an hour long, and we will come to the conclusion of this long, strange story. Or does it go on? We will see. The most important ingredient for success is loving the repetition that you are trying to perfect. If you don't love it, you can't, you're not going to be as inspired to do it. And you know what? I, I want to keep pushing with this. Uh, I love pushing with this. So stay tuned. Um, whatever I learn, we're passing on. Hit that subscribe button and join Fun Club. Three, two, one, do it. Good night, folks.